Hey folks, Nine Toe Nelson here with my good buddy here, Chris. Chris, what is it you want me to do for you today? I need my man Nelson to ride my trike all the way to Texas. Trike? Trike. Ooh, this one right here? Yes. I'll be happy to. All right, guys, we are on our way. It's a one-way trip down to Texas, the Fort Worth area, or thereabouts, I'm told. And as you heard in the intro here, my buddy Chris had asked if I would help him transport this down there for him. The reason he's not riding it himself is that he has two other vehicles that he needs to uh, get down there as well. So, since we were all hoping for bright, sunny skies today, he took the convertible. <laughs> and I got this. Nah, that's how it was going to work from the get-go. But, um... His son-in-law, my other buddy, Rick, is with us, driving his third vehicle. And we hope to make it down there tomorrow. Probably around this time. But um, we're going to make one planned stop, short of gas pit stops in uh, Missouri, the Springfield area, to spend the night, get some rest, and then get back on our way. Now, we were supposed to leave hours earlier today, but unfortunately, it took longer for the movers to finish doing what they had to do. So, here we are. So this should be a fun trip. Unfortunately, the weather's not going to be the best, but you know me. I don't really mind too much. The most interesting thing about this is the fact that I'm on a trike. I've never really ridden one before of any sort, short of the one I had when I was three years old or less. I've already experienced the difference in physics of it. Obviously, I'm not leaning the bike as I ride and turn. It's more of a snowmobile sensation, I would say. It's very interesting, but it's fun. Anything new, especially when it comes to riding a motorcycle, even one with three wheels, it's always fun for me. So a while back I posted a video, a short to be exact, indicating that I was hit by a car, and I was on that day. That was actually quite a while ago. Um, I will by this point have released at least another video or two. But the uh, result of that crash was my motorcycle was totaled, the LEO, with respect to, well, 
let me rephrase that. That's not correct. My motorcycle was damaged. I'll post some pics to show you what I mean. The uh, front fork was shattered. I know the subframe was tweaked a bit. And hopefully by the time this video is posted, I will have gotten all of those things sorted out. Um, my gear was damaged. I posted a short about that. And the insurance company of the other driver has, as of today, offered to cover all of those items. On the medical side of it, though, I had two serious injuries, uh, one being a hematoma to my lower right back. If you're uncertain what that is, essentially it's an internal bruise, a broken blood vessel large enough to leak out and cause a lot of damage, pain, and it's not fun. And a fractured vertebrae. And the fractured vertebrae is actually what they call a transverse process fracture. If you're familiar with the structure of your spine, the bone has a couple of tabs on the back of it, and one of those was damaged, uh, fractured. Nothing to do for it, no surgery, no casting, no brace, no nothing, just wait it out, it'll heal, that's my understanding. And it makes sense since uh, deep inside dense muscle, it really would cause more damage to try to repair in some odd way than to just leave it alone. And since all of this, I've been doing physical therapy, so I'm doing much better. And here I am now, riding this trike. It's not because of the accident and the injuries that I'm riding the trike, it's because my buddy Chris had asked me to do him this favor and that he trusts me and my skills enough to get it done right. I hope not to let him down. And yes, he knows about my accident. <laughs> okay, folks, let's see how the remainder of this trip goes. This lovely Indian trike that I'm riding is going to need to get some gas in uh, hundred or so miles and we'll make a quick stop there for that and keep on moving hopefully we'll have some interesting sights along the way and we'll be able to enjoy this all together I'll tell you I am sweltering in my rain gear actually pretty warm at the moment it's in the 60s I believe and obviously humid and I'm wearing a plastic bag that doesn't breathe well in stop and go traffic uh, I can't wait to get on the highway and hopefully all this weather breaks before we make it to our destination so I can strip this thing off. I have a feeling that's not going to happen, but fingers crossed, right? I'll tell you, this is an odd sensation sitting at a red light. My hands off uh, the instruments and no need to put my feet down. I hope I don't get used to this. So how many of you ride or have ridden a trike? Tell me what you think about it if it's not your usual thing. And for those that do ride a trike, tell me uh, your reasons why. Uh, I'm sure in many cases it's a result of either a physical aspect of your life, be it due to age or injury. I'm sure for some of you out there, it's a preference, which you don't hear too often, but I know it exists. I'd like to hear about that. 
I, um, I know I've said to myself in the past that I probably would never own one of these, and I still feel that way. I don't know at this moment if I ever would really make a conscious decision to own such a thing. Of course, I'll ride one, but I prefer the sensations of leaning. With the bike, that is. It's a lot more gratifying. It seems like I'm fighting the turns when I'm riding the trike. But, you know, you can't fight physics, right? Right where those flashing lights on that tow truck are is right where I got hit by that car. Just saying. Actually, right by that Menard sign. I may share a little bit more about that story. I may have already done so in a separate video. It was an interesting experience, I'll say that much. Not so much the accident itself, but the events that occurred afterwards with regards to the uh, follow-up with police and insurance and this and that. I may not, but we'll see. If you uh, give me your thoughts on that, maybe you can convince me to do so. If you guys remember my last trip, it was uh, actually about as far. Yeah, maybe a little shorter. This is supposed to be about 14 hours in a single swoop. We're breaking it up into two. But there's a few hundred miles difference. And it all started in the same general area. But we're going southwest this time instead of southeast. And hopefully the further south we go, the warmer the weather is going to be. You know, even despite this curve here in the road, I, I don't know, I won't say I'm uncomfortable with the physical sensation. But it is something that I'm sure takes getting used to. It's certainly odd. It's strange. I'm accustomed to a completely different sense. And the feeling of the bike under me, kind of tipping and undulating with the road in a way that is certainly different than if it was only two wheels. You know, it's kind of rolling from side to side when it hits bumps. It's pretty smooth otherwise. It's not drastic, it's just odd. I just noticed that this gauge has a range indicator. I like that. I'm not used to it. I wonder how accurate it is. I know the one in uh, Forrester is not supremely accurate, but this might be better. Well, traffic does suck right here, right now, and that is for sure. I know Chris and uh, Rick are back there. 
within just a couple of car lengths. I told them I was going to ride my ride, and they agreed. I have a tendency to worry too much about anyone who is following me, whether or not they are keeping up or something happened. So I'm living up to my side of the bargain, but I can't help but check every so often. Well, there's Chris, but I don't know where Rick is. There he is. This is the other thing I don't like about this particular manufacturer, or this particular model by this manufacturer. The horn button is not where I would expect it to be. I end up turning telling people I want to turn when I'm trying to honk at them. I've got to get used to that. Doesn't look like it's rained down here at all today. Even though this motorcycle has a more stable platform, I don't find it as comfortable as a two-wheeled motorcycle. I feel, and it may just be the bike, don't get me wrong, it's not just necessarily the fact that it's three wheels, but I just feel cramped. I've ridden many cruisers, um, Harley-style motorcycles, Harleys themselves. And the seating position is almost identical. But I still feel cramped. I don't know what it is. And I'm feeling it in my hip area and my, my butt, my thighs. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the gear I'm wearing right now. But I've been in this gear on my other bikes and I've never felt the sod. Hmm. I don't know. It also has twitchy input. Very slight input gets big reactions. I can't say that I like that. <laughs> 